right, so I've got the new carburetor from Carbub. The one that's on Amazon. The 150 V6 Johnson Everett 1986. Um, this one is not designed for this motor, just because mostly because of the mount, mounting bracket. So I'm going to have to come up with a way to, to actually mount it. But it is working on the stand. I have not put it in the water. It's, it's not a review of it. So I'm going to go ahead and shut it off here. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. So again, this isn't a review, just because that's the first time I've started it. And that would be silly to give a review that quick. Um, but a couple things that I had a uh, little issue finding because it comes with it doesn't come with any instructions. It has very mixed reviews on Amazon, so I'm a little bit weary about it. But we'll test it out and see. Um, so here is how I've got it plumbed in. So with a plastic uh, nib here on the uh, on the far side, so that's the furthest side from the bracket. That is your fuel in. The uh, middle hose, it's kind of towards the middle here. You can see there, that is your, um, make sure I'm telling you right here. That's your pulse, I believe, yep. So that's how that, so that's going to your crankcase um, right there in the middle. And then the far one that's closest to the bracket uh, that is going to be uh, going into the carburetors from there. And it has pre-installed a hose that basically goes from one side to the other of the fuel pump. It's pre-installed on it. I don't know how these things really work. I know it works off the pulse of the engine. And I'm assuming that that's where the VRO has something to do with that. Now this is not a VRO fuel pump. It, it replaces that. Uh, so you'll have to pre-mix it so because you're not hooking it back up to your VRO from what I understand I don't think you can but it did crank up it's running at idle I can rev it up on the stand I have not put it in the water under a load I have not done any further testing on it but I just want to show you guys just because I know this was a little difficult to find how to plumb it up so a little bit was trial and error um, so the plastic nib is the only plastic one on this side, that is your fuel in. The middle one is <clears throat> your pulse. It goes to the crankcase. And then this far one goes to the carburetors from there. Hope that makes sense. Uh, I'm going to run it a little while and, and give a review later on. Uh, I saw a bunch of reviews saying it leaked in things and that the screws were loose. I did just in case, just because I read that. I tried to tighten these. <clears throat> they were all fairly tight. I, you know, I, you can tighten them more. I, it turned maybe a tenth of a turn, um, but they all seem to be exactly the same tightness, which means that they had some sort of specs that they went by. So I think that's a good thing to see. Maybe they had issues before. Hopefully they fixed it. Um, so because they, they all, everything seemed pretty tight. It seems pretty well built. Um, metal. There's not very much plastic on the outside. I have no clue what it's like on the inside, uh, but we'll, I'm, we're going to try to finagle a bracket on here to keep this thing from wiggling around some, and I'll let y'all know later on, maybe in a couple months, uh, or if I have any issues or anything, what I think about it from there. <laughs> 